good morning dear children so today we will be doing the last chapter of english that is bholi written by k a abbas from footprints without feet about the author khwaja ahmed abbas best known as k a abbas is a prominent director and a screenwriter in the indian film industry known best for his work in urdu hindi and english He has been a part of some of the most iconic films in the history of Indian cinema. Apart from this, he was also a journalist for the Bombay Chronicle and then the Blitz. Introduction. The story revolves around a girl who due to accidental fall and disease in her childhood faces the problem of being dull and ugly. She is always a target by everyone for not being good looking and intelligent. Her life turns when she joins a nearby school where her teacher encourages her and helps her to become a learned and confident person. Later in the story circumstances arise where Bholi has to give acceptance to the marriage with an unequal match but rejects it when she sees her father pleading to the bridegroom when he demands dowry the story shows the rise of a girl against social injustice seems very interesting right let's start with the summary of the chapter this story is about a simple young girl named bholi bholi is an urdu word which means simpleton simpleton means foolish her real name was sulekha but fate disappointed her and when she was 10 months old she fell off the baby's cot and damaged her brain she could therefore only speak after she was 5 years old but she stammered badly later when she was 2 years old she had a smallpox attack which left her with blank spots throughout her body that is the poke marks left after the smallpox the other kids often enjoyed her and imitated her they used to tease her a lot mocked at her she therefore spoke very little that's the reason she spoke very little to the people because whenever she used to speak she used to stammer and the children used to make fun of her in all ramlal ramlal is bholi's father had seven children three sons and four girls the youngest was bholi that means the seventh one all others except bholi were healthy and strong bholi was 7 years old when her village opened a primary school the tehsildar inaugurated the school's opening ceremony he told ramlal that he should send his daughter to school as being an income official he was basically the number dar income official and government representative in the village he should set an example to the villagers when he asked his wife about the matter his wife was not in agreement with him his wife doesn't want to send bholi to school she did not like bholi bholi was the most neglected child in the family nobody used to speak to her politely she was always neglected in the family that's why her mother doesn't want her to go to school but since they cannot disobey the order of tehsildar she has to give her consent to send her to school however she still decided to send bholi to school bholi had a bath and a new dress to wear the next day so since she was going to the school outside the house for the uh, going to some other place apart from the house for the first time so she was properly given bath her hairs were combed and dress was given to her though it, the dress was not new it was the dress of her elder sister her mother pampered her hair and was sent to school When her dad left her in school she settled in the classroom corner When a teacher asked her name she stammered and the kids began to laugh Bholi began to weep at this but the voice of the teacher was soft and relaxing 
It encouraged her a lot and she could finally give her full name. So she really find her teacher's voice very soft and very soothing and relaxing because nobody before it has ever spoken to her in such a polite way. Then the teacher told her that if she went to school daily, she would speak without a stammer and she would become the most educated girl in the village one day. There will be nobody there to laugh at her. Then they will listen carefully to her. So the teacher really encouraged her and asked her to come to school daily. If she would keep coming to school daily, soon she will be able to say the full sentences and then nobody will ever mock at her. Years have passed and the village has now become a small town. One night Ramlal consulted his wife about Bishambar's proposal, a grocer in the neighboring village. His wife agrees readily because according to Boli's mother, she was not at all pretty. She was not at all intelligent. So it's a great thing that somebody has given the proposal for her and secondly, Vishambar was not knowing about Bholi's poke mark and has agreed to marry Bholi, though he was just triple her age. His wife agrees readily. Bholi listened to this conversation too and then she agreed just because her parents wanted her to marry that man. Just for her parents wish she agreed to marry. Then finally the day of her mar marriage came. When the bridegroom was about to put garland, a lady pulled her veil down and showed her face to him. The bridegroom looked rapidly at her face and noticed poke marks on her face. At this, he demanded that Ramlal give him 5000 rupees as share with the end goal to wed that ugly young lady. So as soon as Ramlal saw the poke marks on Bholi's face, he showed his true color and he just stopped the marriage and told Bholi's father to immediately give him 5000 rupees. If he would give him then only he would marry Bholi and in that time it was uh, really considered very bad if something like this happened or if the bridegroom leaves the marriage and go away then it was very much sure that the girl would not get married in future. So his father was really worried when Vishambar said so. After a few contentions, Ramlal gave over the cash to Vishambar. Ramlal handed the money over to Vishambar after some arguments. He was literally pleading in front of Vishambar not to do so but Vishambar didn't listen and at last his father anyhow he managed 5000 rupees because he didn't want him to leave the marriage. Bholi could not bear all this and refused to marry a greedy old man. So now why she was able to take such a bold and a courageous step? It was just because of the education. She asked her father to take money back from him because she didn't want to marry this old cowardly and greedy man. Everyone was surprised that Bholi wasn't stoned at all. That means she didn't stammer once. So everybody was stunned by her speech. People accused her of being shameless. See again, just the orthodox society, the women standing there, was, they were instead of just appreciating Bholi's step, they were just accusing her of being shameless. The bridegroom and his party returned. Because of shame and grief, Ramlal could not lift his head. He was really feeling very, very shameful. He could not just uh, talk face to face with the people standing there. He was feeling so ashamed of what his daughter has done. Then he stood up and asked Bholi who is going to marry her. But Bholi told him that in their old age, she would serve her parents and teach in the same school where she had learned so much. Her teacher who was quietly watching all this felt proud of her decision. She really felt proud because the education which she has imparted to her was showing the colors. 
Bolly was now no more a simple tan girl. She was a brave and a courageous girl, and all because of the teacher's encouragement and the education. So with this, we come to the end of the chapter. We have done with our course also. Now be ready with the revision. Till then, please go through the chapter, read each and every line of the chapter. And if you fail to understand anything, please feel free to ask. I am just requesting you people to go through the chapter. Don't just rely on the summary. Have a great day. Bye bye.